hello good morning uh, this is a small video tutorial on how to use a padlet uh, this te technique of um, using padlet i came across when we registered for pg set and i've been using it in for, for all my classes to get the feedbacks from students and to conduct uh, uh, small tests uh, for the students and i believe it's very easy to use a padlet so the tutorial will take you step by step to teach you how a padlet can be used how a padlet can be created and what are all the benefits in using the padlet so the screen goes like this you have the sign up um, uh, button here you click on it and you will be signing up for a new padlet so you use any of your mail ids so i'm going to use my yahoo mail id and that's the password that i'm typing yes sign up and i guess it will go on <coughs> so this is the padlet that i have got i've created for myself so we we'll just look at all this we don't need this so we skip it and this is the dashboard so you have created i have created a padlet for myself now i will be um, a padlet account for myself and i will be starting a padlet now i'll be creating a new padlet now you go into this um, new padlet button and you click on it and a, a new padlet will be created for you this is how your padlet would look without any changes you making it so your padlet is actually ready for usage but we're going to modify a little so that it makes it uh, you know i customize it for myself so i'm going to modify it and i'm giving my um, module name <coughs> so that's my module name and um, uh, i am going to also change the wallpaper of the padlet i would like something which is a little more subtle uh, okay that is not subtle but still i like the color so the layout also can be changed like how you want the students to type how it wants to be organized and you can add privacy to it you can copy stuff and paste on it you can add notifications to it it goes on like this so um we've created the padlet now Now going back to the basic info, I would like to add a small portrait as well on my padlet. So there comes a small portrait, um, and I would also like to add my session name. And if you see, the padlet is being created. Now what I can do is I can copy the link that is here, and I will go to my mail ID. So from here I can create a new mail ID, new mail, and I will. select my students or probably select it to people whom i want to send so i will send it here and i am going to i'm using the mail account of my friend rahul and i copy the link here so when i send it to these people so when i send it to these people and they click on the link they will automatically be directed to that padlet that we have created so how it actually works is the students don't have to go to the chrome uh, the the uh, their browser and open the padlet and you know go on into a roundabout process so how they can do it is they can double click on the video link uh, that we've given here uh, and it directly goes to the padlet so before showing you how it actually happens i'm going to close down this um, browser and i'm going to show you how it actually opens directly from the mail and that's how it opens so directly it takes the student to the padlet page that we have created and the student need not go into the uh, browser type of padlet go to the link and do all that and uh, after going into the padlet link what they got to do is they got to answer on the padlet so that it will appear on my screen as well so how they do it is they'll have to double tap on the screen and it comes like this so if it's a spelling test that we are giving them so i just say spelling test and whatever is the word that we're giving them say i'm giving them constantinople so when the student gets constantinople and they click on it and the word stays so if the student wants to edit say so i am giving my name instead of the spelling test so you if you can ask the student to if you're interested in knowing who has got it right and who has got it wrong you just ask them to write type the name or if it's okay for you to keep for them to keep it anonymous you just ask them not to type their names and leave it empty anyhow the word comes in so you give them the correct word you have all the spellings on your screen and you can correct it easily for the students
थैंक यू